I definitely watched the Avatar The Last Airbender growing up as a kid, so being able to play him after watching him through my childhood, especially for Zuko, who has one of the greatest, you know, character development like ever. Hi everyone, my name is Dallas Liu. I, I play Shuji on Pen15 and I play Rei Hua in the new Marvel Shang-Chi movie. And uh, soon you'll see me as Zuko on Netflix's live adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. I got involved with Netflix's Avatar project the same way everyone else did. I had um, Zoom auditions. After a couple weeks, I found out I had booked the project. Although it is really nerve wracking because there is that huge fandom and especially for Zuko, who has one of the greatest you know, character development like ever. I've been taking it extremely seriously, spending a lot of time putting in the hours. So everything that I do on screen is everything that I've got inside me. I definitely watched the Avatar The Last Airbender growing up as a kid, so being able to play him after watching him through my childhood, it taught me a lot growing up as a kid, so now that I'm growing up and I'm seeing, you know, the lessons that Avatar was teaching us as kids, it's, it's really cool to see. Uh, so starting out with acting, my manager had actually found me through some YouTube videos of me doing martial arts. I get a lot of questions asking about, oh, how do you get into the industry? And I didn't really get in, like I was brought in. I did a lot of Nickelodeon and Disney projects when I was younger. And then as I moved into high school, I was in this weird period where I either was too young to play older or I was too old to play younger. So. There was a dead period of me not really booking all that much, and then Pen15 came along. As far as working with Maya on Pen15, towards the end of high school, I got to talk to her about you know what I wanted to do with my future career paths, whether acting was really for me. And she kind of told me, you know, you you only really get one shot at this. You got one life. Why live with any regret when you know you're still young and you've got time? And I decided to stick with it after high school, obviously. Then Marvel came along and I got to work with Simu and Aquafina. And Aquafina just gave me, I guess, affirmation telling me that I had a place in this industry, which is really nice to hear because I was almost at a breaking point before that. I would absolutely love to be a superhero for Marvel. I think that's, everyone's got that on their dream roles list, but I feel like Zuko fits that, but also more because he starts out as villain and then becomes a good guy. That's probably like, the best it gets. So, of course, I'm extremely excited for all the representation that's going around for Asians. Like, I mean, like every time I see like an Asian person on screen, I'm like, hey, good stuff, you know? <laughs> Just because in our culture, it's definitely not the most common route to take at all. Luckily, my parents are supportive of that. Because there is so much representation for us now and we're moving up and this is a new time. I mean, there's more to me as a person and an actor rather than just being Asian. You know, and I, I feel like sometimes the industry gets caught up on that. As a kid, I wanted to be like Jackie Chan. I thought his Rush Hour series was incredible, but right now I want to be an individual um, and a solid actor, not just an Asian one, you know? Anyone I'd like to work with? I think as far as directors go, Taika Waititi is on my list. Steven Yeun. Timothy Chalamet, right? Dude's, dude's been killing it. I love him so much. He's, he's so good.